what to expect when buying new construction here in Florida. Hey friends, welcome back to Tiki Talk Tuesday. It's your favorite realtor here, Heather Palo in Sarasota, Florida, and let's dive right in. So when you are purchasing a new construction home here in Florida, make sure that you bring your real estate agent along with you. Now, I'm not sure if all of you guys know this, but the seller or the builder is the one who pays a real estate commission. So it really doesn't cost you commission to have somebody advocating for you. So always, always, always have representation, even at new construction. This means whenever you go visit the property, whenever you go to the new construction home site, make sure that you bring your real estate agent with you the first time, or at least put their name down on the registration card. When you get there, they're gonna ask for your name, your contact information, and they're also gonna ask you if you are working with a real estate professional. Always put their information there. Here's my information below, my phone number, my email address, make sure you write it down. That's the only way I can represent you. Now, I'm not here to knock other real estate professionals. However, what I have noticed in the past, and I've sold a lot of reconstruction homes, is that the sales consultant or the sales agent for the builder kind of drops off, right? Because their job is to sell the homes, put them under contract, and then it goes on to, <clears throat> excuse me, the building process. So the superintendents, the construction managers are the ones who are making sure the processes are going from start to finish. Now, this is not all agents, this is not all builders, but this is what I've experienced is a lot of times that agent kind of disappears. And so you're gonna want me on your side to advocate for you and figure out what's happening in the process. Another thing to pay attention to are building timelines. I don't care what builder it is, I don't care what time of year you go, I don't care how many homes they have left, or if they've just started, it will never, ever, ever close on time. So if they are quoting you that it's gonna close in 12 months, plan for 14 to 16, sometimes 18 months after. I'm telling you, they have never, ever, ever closed on time. I've never seen one close early. They always get delayed. So my biggest advice for you is make sure that you have housing. I do not want any of you guys to be homeless during this process. So make sure that you have a place to stay and that it's reliable and that it can be renewed or it can be extended because we just never know. There are so many intricate little details that happen in the building process that can definitely uh, derail the building process and then you're gonna have to find a place to live. I'm telling you, those sales agents are gonna be so confident that they're gonna get it done by a certain day and then you'll be getting emails, text messages, phone calls, a bunch of disappointment that it's gonna be two months, three months later. So make sure that you have a plan or two in place for housing if or when your new construction home does not close on time. Now, just because it's a brand new home does not mean it's going to be flawless. There are gonna be some issues. So do you do an inspection with an outside inspector or not? Now, I always recommend get an inspection done. Why? Because they have the same guys looking at the same houses all day, every day. They're not gonna see things that somebody else is gonna be able to see because they're coming in new. They're not looking at these homes every single day and overlooking you know, certain things. So I always recommend having an inspector come in before closing to make sure that everything's done correctly. Most builders offer a home warranty with it or builder's warranty. However, it does not cover everything. And as soon as you move in, certain things are no longer warrantable. So make sure that the house is in good standing before you close on the home. One of my favorite things during the new construction process is when they bring out the blue tape. So I will come alongside you. We will look at the home. The construction manager will go through the home with you and we're gonna look for any defects. And we're gonna put some blue tape on the walls and if something needs to be repainted or touched up, we are going to mark it and make sure that they do that prior to closing. It's just a good way to get to know your home and see where things are and see how they work and function. And you know, sometimes the paint's a little off, the color's a little off, or maybe they didn't stucco right on this place. Um, so there's just little things, maybe the cabinets don't open and close correctly, but we're gonna be searching this home from top to bottom to make sure that your brand new home is in good condition. Now let's talk incentives. 
A lot of home builders will offer prospective buyers incentives in order to entice them to purchase their home over another. And so they are usually gonna want you to use their preferred mortgage lender, which is essentially the same company. And if you do get pre-approved with their mortgage lender, they are going to give you money towards your closing costs. I have also seen them offer money towards a rate buy down. And then depending on the builder, you may get to go to the design center and choose a lot of your finishes, like your doorknobs, your handles, um, your cabinets, all those things. And so they will give you a credit at the design center. If you spend X amount of dollars there, they might match it. They might give you 20% off. Uh, whatever the case is, there's usually an incentive attached to the sale of the home. Now, that being said, the incentives do change and they do change every month. So if you go in July and you're looking for a specific incentive and you come back in August and you're ready to make a, a move and you're ready to write a contract on the home, the incentives probably have changed since July. So we always want to ask, what incentives are you offering prospective buyers right now? As I mentioned, some builders will allow you to customize certain finishes and some home builders will not. So make sure that when you're looking at a community and you understand what builder is there, you ask your real estate agent what is customizable in these homes and what isn't. Sometimes they have pre-packaged deals where if you buy this lot with this model on it, then you get to select between one to three different packages, um, upgrades and things like that. Another thing is they do not want every home to look exactly the same. So if you are buying a home that's like right next door to another home that's already built or one that's already in those stages or one across the street, they're not gonna let you choose the different elevations. So elevations are, you'll have a specific model and then the front of it can look different depending on which elevation and which package you choose. Different elevations have different prices on them. So you really have to work with your real estate agent and with the sales agent to come up with the right plan for you according to what else is going on in, in the neighborhood. If you have questions about any of the home builders in the area or any of the homes that you have seen for sale, please reach out to me. My information is below. I'm always happy to talk all things real estate. And I'm going inside because it's melting. So I will see you guys next week. Happy Tuesday.